many, many years ago when I first traveled to Europe. I was 19 years old and my parents had lived in Australia since 1951. They emigrated from Czechoslovakia and my mother's parents moved to Germany. My parents met in France. I'm an Australian. Hi, I'm Oz Lily. Today, I want to talk to you about an experience I had many, many years ago when I first traveled to Europe. It was 1973. So were you born then? What was the world like in that time? In 1973, I came to Europe. I flew from Melbourne and stopped in Sydney, Singapore, Bangkok, Karachi, Frankfurt, and then landed in Munich. And I met a girl in Germany. I can't remember where she was from. And we were both looking for a job. I came to Europe on a working holiday. I wanted to travel and work. And at that time, I originally wanted to work on a, on a cruiser, on a boat, on a cruise ship, or to go to Africa. But at that time, there were a lot of problems in South Africa. I couldn't get a visa for South Africa. And I didn't get a visa for the other applications that I'd made. And I ended up just coming anyhow. I came and landed at my grandparents' place, and they lived in Munich. And then started my search for work from here, from Munich. I got an offer at the university. They were very, very happy to have me, even though my German was not very good because what they really needed was my English language competence. And they were convinced I would learn the German that I needed on the job. So I went with this other girl. I'll call her Vicky. I really don't remember what her name was. And we went to the immigration office, I guess it was. At that time, our German was really, really minimal. And it was the first time that I had come to a German-speaking country. And we went into this place, which was the immigration office, I guess, and she applied for a job, for a working visa. I don't know if she actually had a job offer or not. I know I had already been assured by the university that they would be very happy to have me and was still in the process of making my application. So we stood there in line waiting. There are lots of people hanging around in the corridors. It was... It was, uh, what, I don't even know what word to use to describe it. I, I imagine some old, old films right now. People hanging around in corridors waiting for the doors to open for an official to call them in to deal with their problem. Anyhow, eventually we got attention. We were called in and her German was less than mine. So I was the one translating for her. And we made our wish clear that she wanted, so we thought we would start with her, she wanted to apply for a job. They gave her a stamp in her passport and I think we had to go and pay something. And we came back home to my grandfather's place and asked him what, what did it say? What was the new stamp in her passport? Turns out it was an eviction notice. She had to leave the country within seven days, something like that. So they had nobody to translate for us. We were innocently looking to get work in Germany and thought that we were getting what we wanted, got this stamp in her passport. Luckily, I didn't even have my passport with me. I was going with her because otherwise I might have had my intention to get that job at the university and got the same stamp in my passport. Later, many, many years later, I recognised that in that same house where my grandparents lived, there was a Melde 
Boodle underneath. So I think actually my grandfather went there with me. So probably the same in Germany as here in Austria, which I only knew from Czechoslovakia, that you had to register as soon as you arrived somewhere. You had to register your residence. So he registered that I was there. And I believe they actually asked him whether I was applying for German citizenship because my grandfather was a Sudeten Deutscher. So I could have probably got the German citizenship then in 1973. Forget that. Okay. The point was Vicky got this stamp in her passport, innocently applying for a job in Germany and was evicted and she had to leave. Right. Roll forward now. Yesterday, the day before, today's Saturday. It was Friday. Friday, I went into the um, MR35, which I've just read the letter, is the um, immig immigration office, Einwanderung und Staatsbürgerschaft, so immigration and citizenship, right? And I have had uh, permanent residence in this country for since the 1990s, so 30 years, and I wanted... I've been told I need a photo on my e-card, but the department could not process my application because I've been here too long and my immigration, my visa, my residence permit has not been digitalized because I kept it in my old passport where I had it. So I went in with all my documents and they asked me, have you filled out a form, an application for residence? I said, no, I have residence. I have permanent residence. It's in my passport. Ended up after an hour being sent back and forth from one office to another, sent, given a ticket, awaiting to... <laughs> I took photos. Uh, I had... B, 22, I had another one. I was first in Section A, and then I was sent to Section B, and then I was sent back to Section A. And then finally I had my appointment and I met with this guy. Friendly enough, in the end, my permanent visa in my passport was stamped Camera, come on, focus. Anyhow, it says invalid, invalid. So this residence visa, which has accompanied me through my motherhood of five v Vienna Boys Choir boys, 10 years working at the United Nations, 10 years working in Vienna in Austria, 10 years spent at home taking care of my children, has been stamped invalid. Why? Because now with the digital world, we get a plastic ID, which is digital. And for me, because I'm not an EU citizen, I get five years and then I have to renew. My permanent residence, my un unlimited resident permit, which requires me to reapply for the tech card format ID to prove it. So just a bit of deja vu. I just it just reminded me of that time in my innocence, not understanding German at that time. This time my German is quite fine, thank you very much. And I did understand what I was going through. I didn't know he was going to stamp my passport un invalid. I told him I thought it was not fair and I don't think it's fair. Why? This visa <laughs> is my permanent residence visa and document. And now what I get, okay, I got a letter from the department and now I get, <laughs> first I'm going to get a letter with a payment slip with a request for me to make the payment. Then I may make my payment. Then after I've made my payment, I will get another letter 
and they will invite me and let me know where I can come and collect my document. So it might take another month. I don't know how long exactly. They couldn't tell me either. Bureaucracy. Is this the ideal world? We're getting there, really we are. The digital world does have its advantages. We can connect internationally, worldwide in so many different ways. So find, find what's really good and focus on what's really good about it because the old world before the digital was, yeah, it had its limitations too. But anyhow, I just wanted to get that off my chest about the deja vu. So, <laughs> I was Lily signing off in Austria. <laughs>